What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about Bitcoin and why I truly believe it is going to $100,000 this year. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys leave a like. If you guys believe it'll hit 100K a year and your overall thoughts, your positions on Bitcoin in the comment section down below. Without further ado, let's hop right in. One of the most things that I believe is definitely going to be overlooked, it is the price psychology. Things gravitate towards whole numbers. That's the first thing I noticed. Notice how at the beginning of the year, we were merely at 32, right around the 30000 $30, mark. Now, as we speak, we are blowing past the $50,000 mark. What's next? This reminds me of the whole GameStop situation when it was at 30 and we said it can easily go to 50 and it was at 75 the next day and we said it could go to 100 and look what happened, nearly almost $500 mark. So that price stuck in people's head can also, can also become a self-fulfilling prophecy. The higher Bitcoin roars, if we head towards 60k by the um, by mid March, the more people are going to believe, and the more people are going to come in. All psychology. This is definitely going to be overlooked, and it should not. Ark Invest also found more owners of Bitcoin are buying and holding; they are not selling. Also, remember, Bitcoin is capped. There is limited supply. So, if you could again, I'm not a financial advisor. Take things with a grain of salt. But there, there might be also a pullback, like these pullbacks here when we were at 40K, we pulled back down to 33K. That gave you the decent price entry. Would I buy here at 56? Absolutely not. I'm a dip buyer. I'd wait for the pullback and hold this for the long term. That's why I have your long term vision. I'd possibly hold till forever, not even sell it. Just add on the dips and continue to accumulate that position. Um, and hopefully we see half a million on Bitcoin. Big players are buying equals more influence. Tesla being number one, which invested 1.5 billion, if you're not aware, out of its 19 billion into cash, um, I mean, in cash into Bitcoin. Elon is now backing the coin, which again, increases confidence. We had Square last year, October, which bought 50 million. Just plain out makes sense for Elon to be pumping and supporting Bitcoin. Why? Because Tesla's invested into it. Every time he talks about it, the price seems to keep on going up. And this, again, self-fulfilling prophecy, more companies are to follow. My guess is Twitter. My guess is next time the company buys, it's announced, it's Twitter. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, just a um, little uh, fun little thing. Elon changed his profile picture. He tweeted just for a day, 45 minutes ago, to this. Don't kill me if I don't know this, but it's like some anime character and like the Bitcoin logo just for the day. But he will continue to support. And look at his massive following, 47.3 million, one of the biggest and most popular CEOs out there. I don't know any CEO at his level, uh, maybe a little under mark cuban i don't know what do you guys think arc invest said and they found in their research if all s p 500 companies invested one percent of their cash into bitcoin its price would increase forty thousand. that's just a mere one percent i'm considering one to five percent of of your portfolio could be into bitcoin speculative long-term hold once again and this obviously is going to be paying off this these are just my thoughts google has 137 billion in cash so these are some big company names the biggest catalyst, however, for Bitcoin to 100K, which I think is going to create a lot of momentum and a lot of hype, is the Coinbase IPO, which is upcoming in the next couple months. Uh, hopefully by summer, maybe fall, which is valued at $77 billion. So these are the reasons why I believe 100K is not so much of an outreach on Bitcoin. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys over the weekend for another stock market.